Hey, good morning YouTube. My name is Rachel aka Lilyworks and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. And we have some orders going out today. Today is Monday and um, I mentioned in my last video that I was going to see how this weekend sales were going to be after I put my stores on time away. And I wasn't really listing a lot. And so, yeah, let's get into the sales. I quick pulled my orders um, and I know that this is not usually how I do things or at least I try but um, my mom is leaving soon and she is usually watching the kids um, so she put them down for a nap but that's kind of like scary because it's like oh are they gonna wake up and then they have to um, completely stop what I'm doing so I'm gonna try to get through this as soon as possible but if you guys have, haven't noticed I don't have a lot of sales usually jewelry sales I kind of have 20 <laughs> and today I have four so well let's just get right into it here is a balloon pin this came in a brooch shop goodwill lot I listed I can't remember exactly what I listed it for, but this sold on Poshmark for $10, making my earnings $5.33, and my cost of goods is around a dollar on Shop Goodwill. This I just listed last night, and I have not put the video out of this haul, I have it recorded, but this um, is a mosaic um, Italian bracelet that I picked up yesterday at the Salvation Army for $4.99. Um, someone offered me $23 on Mercari. I countered at $25. They accepted and I paid $3.48 shipping and making my earnings $21.52. And if this fit me, um, I would have kept it. I love this. Um, I would call it micro mosaic, but I guess micro mosaic pieces are even smaller than this, but still very pretty nonetheless. Here are some cufflings I've had for a while. I could not for the life of me figure out what these were, but it's by the brand Sprong. So I believe this is a Norwegian company. Um, I listed these as like I believe like Christian fish I could not tell I don't know XO I don't even know but they did sell for $13 on eBay by paid shipping and I got these for less than 50 cents in a jewelry jar last jewelry piece um, is just this simple classic V rhinestone necklace this is probably I don't know 40s 50s Anyways, this sold for $13 on eBay with uh, free shipping, so I paid $3.37, making my earnings $9.63, and I got this out of a jewelry jar a super long time ago. So I'll put my jewelry earnings on the screen, but yeah, that was very low this weekend. Next, I'll get into shoes. That Those sales were a little bit better. Um, so yeah, these were... The first sale, the uh, buyer was asking me a lot of questions about this, so I'm hoping everything's good once she receives them. But these are some black Skechers, sold for $25 on eBay. I paid $8.20 shipping, making my earnings $16.80. I picked these up at the bins for about $2. Um, she did not want to pay for shipping, so then I said I we basically agreed on 
I upped the price to $25 and then did free shipping. So there's that. These have been sitting in my store for a while. These are aerosols. I think every single What's Sold Over the Weekend video has a pair of aerosols in them. But these are super cute and I'm surprised they didn't sell faster. They are a floral faux patent leather print. Really nice condition. These sold for $18 on eBay. Got these at the bins for about $2. This was a nice sale. I might have shown these in a haul video, I'm not sure. But I got these for $11.99 at Goodwill. These are some Salomon, Salomon, it's a A, S-A-L-O-M-O-N. And this brand does particularly well, but this um, boot looks like it was brand new. Um, and these boots can be really expensive, brand new. I don't know, I don't think I listed these brand new, but these sold, took a best offer. Yeah, I took a best offer of $70 and the buyer paid shipping. Next are these Comfortiva sandals. I picked these up at the bins based off of style. They're really cute and they are a good size. I think they're size 11. These sold for $24 on Poshmark, making my earnings $19.20. This was not a good sale. This one was sad. Um, I had sold these. These are like brand new Bruno Magli heels. And that brand is a higher end brand. These are, I don't know, these are not trendy. I had sold these once before for I think like $70, $80. Then they got a return because they didn't fit right. Um, I relisted them and then just took best offer of $30. I don't remember what I paid for them. I'm thinking $10 or less for those. All right, next we have these Clark's Blue Heels. This was a nicer sale. These are in great condition. These are Clark's Collection Navy Blue. Great condition. I think they're new. Um, these sold for $32 on eBay, buyer paid shipping, and I believe I picked these up at the bins for about $2. Um, yeah, so that was a nice sale. Here's another pretty good sale. These are some Me Too Tall Boots. These sold for $31 on Poshmark, making my earnings $23.08. Picked these up at the bins. This is not a brand to look out for at all. <laughs> like Me Too is definitely not, but these are genuine suede. I'm going to have to get the fuzzies off of them, but they're like a cute vintage spat style tall boot with this stretch at the top. thought those were cute. Then my biggest sale of the weekend were these. I've sold these before and they didn't fit, but they sold full price on Etsy. These are some yellow suede moccasin boots. They sold $110. I paid Eleven sixty-two shipping, making my earnings ninety-eight thirty-eight, and I picked these up at the bins. And they do have some wear, but these are just so cool. Um, yeah, yellow. Um, and I think they're by the brand Bakers. I didn't. I don't think I put that in there, the title or anything. But yeah, that is not a brand to look out for, but this is definitely a really neat style. All right, last, I'm gonna put the shoe total up. And then lastly, I have just belt and a perfume. So two belts and a perfume. This belt, this is a vintage stretch belt. This sold for $15 on eBay. I paid $3.87 shipping, making my earnings 1113 pick this one up at the bins here is a coach belt men's size 40 sold for $20 on ebay making my earnings $20 um, because the buyer paid shipping and i believe i picked that up at goodwill for a dollar all right there is one hat that i forgot it is this arctic hat sold on poshmark for $13 making my earnings 10.05 and I picked this one up at the bins. Let's see. And then lastly is this perfume. You notice it is not full. 
So you have to sell this in the collectibles section on eBay. Um, and I believe I picked, I got this in um, a bag full of different vintage jewelries. I'm sorry, vintage perfumes. And so I think I might have paid a dollar, but I'm not sure. But it sold for $26. Buyer paid shipping. I'm going to be sending this ground shipping. And so yeah, I will put my total up on the screen for those three things. So I better get to ship. Uh, this is a, a shorter video because I don't have a lot to show. But I will put my total up on the screen for you guys. And um, I'm going to be uploading a haul video shortly. I got some really cool jewelry. One piece you've already seen. Some shoes I just picked up. So that's either coming out before this um, video and, or shortly after this video. And I also have a another jewelry unboxing that I still have yet to upload. So if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to give me a thumb, thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys soon in a video shortly. Thanks.